and we cast a roll. I'll take that, man. What's up, noobs? I'm Greer. This is Greener Gaming. Log in and let's go. Okay, so today we're going to be playing a control deck. It's a Sarah control deck, but specifically, it's a toxic Sarah control deck because we are running Hazmat in this list. So let's go through the deck really quick. So like I said, we are running Hazmat on reveal, afflict all other cards with negative one power. Um, you want to save this till the final turn and wait until you have Luke Cage in your hand. We're running Zabu in here. Uh, ongoing, your four cost cards cost one less. And we're running four four cost cards. So Zabu is pretty uh, spicy. We're running Lizard in here. Ongoing, negative four power if your opponent has four cards here. Just a solid 2-5. Also, if you have Luke Cage, uh, you can't get the debuff. We're running Maximus in here. Unreveal, your opponent draws two cards. You can save this for the final turn as well, especially if you have Sarah down. This costs one. Uh, just a solid six power. We're running Killmonger. Unreveal, destroy all one cost cards. Um, this is great against a lot of decks out there because a lot of decks are running one drops, especially your Thanos stuff. But also, it works on your Deadpools. Um... And it works really well because we are running Ghost. So you give up Pryo and then you can just put down a Killmonger to, if you think they're going to put down a big Deadpool. We're running Luke Cage. Ongoing, your cards can't have their power reduced. Yeah, you you don't want to play Hazmat unless you have Luke Cage in hand. You know, sometimes you're going to have to play him on curve, but maybe you save them till the final turn so they can't use Enchantress or whatever. Like I said, we are running Ghost. Ongoing, your cards are always revealed last. Um, so that's really important to get the hazmat debuff down, but it's also important to use your Shang-Chi and your Enchantress on their targets. Speaking of which, Shang-Chi on reveal, destroy all enemy cards here that have 10 or more power. So um, he goes down to three cost if you have Zabu, goes down to two cost if you have Zabu and Sarah. So you can do some pretty spicy stuff on the final turn. We're running Enchantress on reveal, remove the abilities from all ongoing cards here. Um, you can use this on your own stuff. If you don't get Luke Cage, you can remove the ongoing effect from your Lizard. And you can also remove the debuff from your Typhoid Mary. We're running Jessica Jones on reveal. If you don't play a card at this location next turn, plus four power. So she goes up to nine. Um, that's under Shang-Chi, which is great. And again, you can get her out on three if you have Zabu. Like I said, we're running Typhoid Mary. Ongoing, your other cards have negative one power. Um, but hopefully you have Luke Cage, so you can't be affected by this. Or if you have Enchantress, you can silence it. And uh, yeah, just a solid 10 power. And then we're running Sarah to round it all off. Ongoing cards in hand cost one less. So you're playing this on five pretty much always if you have it. And then, uh, yeah, you can do some pretty spicy stuff on the final turn like you'll see in the games so that's pretty much the deck by the way if you're new here why don't you hit that subscribe button for a guy huh hey it's just a click for you it means the world to me all right let's get into the games okay let's chill We can go Zabu here. Maybe we go Jessica Jones. We have Luke Cage for Necrotia, so that's cool. Um, do we play them out now is the question. They could have Enchantress. Yeah, maybe we play them out now. And then we can play Sarah mid. Um, like I said, in case they do have Enchantress, they have to use it on their own thing. I mean, we could just go Shang-Chi Hazmat. Depends on how much stuff they play, though. If they play too much stuff, I won't be able to kill the Dino. 
Let's see it. And we cast a roll. I'll take that, man. Okay, let's chill. And we go with Zabu here. I guess we chill. That's not good. Um, go with Ghost here. That's really not good. I guess we play Sarah. Like, what are the chances of them hitting that, you know? Okay. Um, we go... Max, Hazmat, Luke Cage, Lizard? I mean, they don't have any ongoing stuff. I'm assuming they're going to do something like what, Heimdall? Whatever, let's see it. I'm oh, just null. Hey, we win. Let's go. Victory. Okay, I guess we chill. Play Zabu here. Are you kidding me with this, man? Like, for real? Guess we go ghost? If they have Kyra and Jeff, they just win the sides. Maybe they change Rickety Bridge with Reality Stone? Okay, they do. Good. Um, I kind of just like Killmonger here. You know, bef hopefully they don't have Kyra and we just destroy all their ones right now. Although if they have Kyra, we're pretty, uh, we're pretty not okay. We go Sarah here. They can't play blob mid. Okay, that's their blob gone. Uh, 
Uh, we Shang-Chi here. Typhoid Mary into Enchantress. Yeah, I mean, same difference. They reveal first, because we have Ghost. This is a pretty good win, man. And they snapped and everything. Okay, we chill. We go Zabu here. Weird world. Well, that's not great. I think I'm just going to toss out a Viper. I'm not going to toss anything over just for the five power. Uh, maybe we go Typhoid Mary Iceman. Bit awkward. Um, I think we go Shang-Chi Lizard. Maybe we can take care of this lane with Killmonger. Unless, of course, they just bounce it all back. We can Mysterio Forge Monkey. Hopefully they can't contest mid. All right, let's see it. And we win because of uh, Mysterio. Nice, dude. Solid win. Victory. Okay, I guess we chill. I think maybe we go Zabu Sarah here. And we can go Ghost. I guess we can play Max as well, but drawing them cards is not my favorite. I mean, I just play out Typhoid Mary. 
I don't really want to play hazmat if I don't have Luke Cage in hand. I mean, I could just Killmonger here to get rid of Meek. Well, we didn't get Luke Cage, so I think we just Shang-Chi, Jessica Jones. I hope they can't uh, do anything crazy mid. So we win by more. Victory. Okay, let's chill. Well, I guess we chill again. Starting to look like a Shuri list. Okay, we go Ghost here. And we can play out Jessica Jones. Uh, I guess we can... We don't care if this gets hidden. And we can go Sarah here. Okay, so they're gonna play here, something big. This could be Taskmaster. Uh, we have Ghost. So we Shang-Chi that. Then maybe we go... Hazmat, Luke Cage, Lizard. We might not be able to beat this. So we gotta hope to get a tie break. Although if this is Red Skull and this is Taskmaster, it's gonna be a bad time. No way, bro. Wait, we win though, right? Victory. All right. Can we chill? We go with Zabu here. They might actually be playing um, Tribunal. Do I like Typhoid Mary or do I like Ghost? I'm not going to be able to play Sarah, unfortunately. This leaves me open to Shang-Chi, though. Maybe we Ghost. Okay, well now I go Sarah. It's an Agatha deck, okay. Mm. 
maybe we go with um, Shang Chi Max. Didn't get Luke Cage. Hazmat's not great. I mean, I guess I could just go Typhoid Mary, Lizard, Killmonger. Let's see it. We just win, right? Just barely, though. So while making this video, we went 7-1, which is an 87.5% win rate with a plus 16 cubes. I'm surprised at how good this deck um, is. Like, having Ghost in here... Um, and Ghost being at 5 power, so you don't have to sacrifice anything, right? And then being able to hazmat uh, Luke Cage and stuff. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Plus then, of course, you have the option to uh, get rid of stuff with Shang-Chi and Enchantress. Even when people were using Mobius against me, it's still uh, we still came out on top. So that's a good feeling. So I feel like this deck is super strong, but don't take my word for it. Try that deck out for yourself. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. Hey, if you like this video, why don't you click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and anyway, GG.